So what is going on guys and welcome back today we are doing the one purchase challenge on call of the dead So how this challenge is gonna work is every single round we get one purchase So it's round one we have a free purchase this round I mean we're in the starting room so there really is only one good option and it's quick revive So we used our purchase for round one on quick revive and now we can't buy anything else until we end the round So let's beat round one Get some points and then uh, start using our purchases in the upcoming rounds. You know, start opening up the rest of the map. There we go. All right. We beat round one. Let's go. Off to a good start. So we are on to round two now. We get another purchase. And now we got to decide what we want to use that purchase on. So we have our two wall weapons in here. We have two doors. And I mean, we're definitely going to use our purchase on the door. And it's a pretty easy decision because uh, we got lucky. The box spawned on the right. So not only does the right side of the map have the box, but it also has the power switch and jug so literally everything we need to survive is on the right side of the map we have a very easy decision for what uh direction we're going to be going to the right we go so let's just beat round two get to the end of this round the did i just get hit twice right there what the hell was that that was very odd okay i don't know what that was about that was a fast round actually i'm quite happy with that so we'll use our purchase for round two on this door right here and uh let's just beat another round uh, I've done this challenge so many times now, man. I I've been playing Call of Dead for, like, an entire day. This is the next day. I, I took a break because I was losing my mind with this map. I've, I've done this, this challenge so many times. I mean, this map is actually proven to be pretty difficult, and I was just playing terribly. So, like, a lot of these, a lot of my previous attempts were my own fault, me just playing bad. But I had three attempts that I actually beat, or almost, I was going to beat the challenge. I got to, like, round 25, 20, and then on an, another attempt, I actually beat the challenge. But literally everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. So, on two of those attempts, my game crashed. So, I lost both of those. And then the third attempt, where I actually got it, which is the worst part, my disc storage filled up all the way. So, I lost that. Much. I don't know. Just literally everything that could have gone wrong with this challenge went wrong. So, I've just been playing Call of the Dead for, like, an, an entire day straight. And I'm losing my mind. I really just want to beat this challenge. Okay, I almost just died right there. I'll thank God for this nuke. But yeah, I've, I, I've done this challenge so many times. I really just want to finish this thing. Get this over with. This is probably like attempt like 15 or something. So I'm really hoping uh, this is the one that works. And hopefully nothing out of my control happens. Like the game crashes or my Discord fills up again. Which shouldn't happen because I, I fixed that. But we're on round four. We spent our round three purchase on the door over there. Let's buy the box as our round four purchase and hopefully get something good. Get us off to a good start. Oh, Python! Let's go! I think one of my good attempts when I was doing this challenge, I got the Python. So this is this will be good, hopefully. We just gotta go for headshots, get those extra 40 points and whatnot. But I'm very happy with the Python. I love this gun. It's very, very fun to use. One of my favorite guns. Probably my favorite gun to use, honestly. I just... It's just, it's a cannon. It's a hand cannon. That's what this gun is. It's amazing. You're dead. Oh, shit. Okay, no, no, no. We're good. We're good. We're good. And beautiful. Round four is now over. And we'll just come right up to the top of the ship. Immediately use our round five purchase on this door right here. Wait for the round to change so it's all official. Turn on power. We're off to a good start. But that doesn't really mean much. It's going to be a long while before we can get Jug. Because there's so many doors on this map. That's what I've that's what I've noticed. And part of the reason why this challenge is actually quite difficult on Call of the Dead. There are just so many doors on this map. And they're not even that expensive. It's just that with the one purchase challenge, I can only buy one thing each round. So these doors are just slowing me down entire rounds. And it's going to be like round 10 before we get Jug probably. Which, that's no fun. But... We got the Python, so it's not all bad. Not all bad. Kill these last couple of guys. Ooh, death machine. Where's George? George has arrived. Come here, big boy. Eat, eat them bullets. They're good for you. Yeah, yeah. This is good stuff. Two more of these, and we'll get a free perk, which is extra helpful with this challenge because then we don't, you know, have to waste one of our purchases on a perk. So we are on to round six. And, I mean, I got a pretty good, actually, probably very good gun from the box. So, I don't even have to use any more purchases on the box. We're just going to keep it open up doors, trying to get to the jug as soon as possible. So, one more door, another one, and then we can get jug. So, we'll probably get jug on round 8, at the start of round 8. And, uh, we'll just sit over here. If things get hectic, we'll buy the door that's right here. And just roll on out of here. And we got running zombies already. Love it. I love it. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Oh, Python's so good. I love this gun. I love it. Right, I'm gonna lob some nades, save some ammo, I guess. Why not? 
Oh, yeah. Good nades right there. Very good nades. Kill these last two guys. George is approaching. But looks like we're almost at the end of the round. I'm going to use my round six purchase on that door right there. And then we'll go hunt down this last zombie because... Oh, because the zombies just take forever to get to you. Where are you at, zomboy? There's the last guy. All right. On to another round. And uh, I'm going to head back to small and take the little little shortcut through this. I always like this part of the map. I don't know why. I always just felt like it was kind of like hidden. Like you can only enter it from one direction and it only leads one way. I was just like a little little secret little shortcut. It's a little it's all it's all secluded. I like it. I like this kind of thing. Real life, if you're ever in like like a botanical gardens or whatever, they always got like little shortcuts and this is what this kind of reminds me of. I always love those. I always feel like you're finding a, like a new entrance to a hidden world or something. Some Narnia shit. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know. I just like this part of the map. Call of the Dead's a good map. Let's just leave it at that. And let's uh, focus on killing zombies. Come this way. Head down here. We still have a round 7 purchase, so we'll wait down here. End the round by the door, and then we'll get Jug at the start of round 8. So let's do that. Right, let's kill this guy with that. Yeah, the double pistols go off. Saving that python ammo. It's beautiful. Yeah, pump them bullets into him. God damn! Only three clips to kill a zombie? Not too shabby coming from the starting pistol, I'm not gonna lie. Round 7 is now over. We'll open this door as our round 7 purchase. And we'll immediately use our round 8 purchase to come over here. Buy good old Juggernaug. I think I hear Pack-a-Punch? No, I don't know what I was hearing. Okay, never mind. I was a zombie spawning in, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Pack-a-Punch is at, at spawn. Alright, cool, cool. Let's try to end this round as fast as possible. And we might be able to actually Pack-a-Punch. So this is looking good. We're running low on ammo, though. So we gotta... Hopefully we'll get a max ammo soon. We should be getting a max soon. Alright, let's use a nade now. Nade out. Oh, is that Pack-a-Punch leaving? No, don't tell me it's Pack-a-Punch. No, Pack-a-Punch! No, it's fine. We probably... We don't really need it. We're gonna get max right now. Watch. Max ammo. Max ammo. Max. Ammo. Max ammo. We're not getting it. We're completely out of ammo. Okay, we're knifing zombies now. Let's go. Having to knife zombies. Oh, wait. We have one bullet left there. Never mind. We got one bullet. Here, we'll use it. Oh my god, that was... <laughs> that was just embarrassing. Okay, I, I completely missed that shot. We're gonna have to knife these last couple of zombies. We do have Jug now. Oh, okay, well, Jug isn't gonna help us if we get wailed on that much. God damn, calm down. Calm down, you. Oh, there's the max ammo. I called it. I knew it was coming. Just had to knife one zombie. Not too shabby. Let us kill these last two guys with a starting pistol there we go round is now over let us calm down the big man and beautiful so i was gonna have to hit the box but seeing as we just got a max ammo we can just continue getting our perks and i think the next thing we're probably gonna try to get is phd flopper that way you know if we do run out of ammo we can start flopping around and we still have our starting pistol so if we can you know get mustang and sally's that's a that's not a bad combo so I think that's probably what we're going to be going for right now. And the python's still one shot into the body. That way I don't go. I have to go for headshots, which is cool. I do love me not having to go for headshots. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Let's use the nades again. Since we get these... Hold up. Oh my god, I picked up that one again by accident. Okay, nice. We made it to the end of the round. Alright, so we still have our round 9 purchase. We'll come over here. And... Wait, 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 wait. Lighthouse. I like the lighthouse. Lighthouse is showing us where Pack-a-Punch is. I kind of want to go do that. So let us come over this way. Yeah, okay. I thought I saw the lighthouse moving. Let's go Pack-a-Punch. We'll Pack-a-Punch the starting pistol. In goes the Mustang and Sally's. Or the Colt into the Mustang and Sally's. That's our purchase for round nine. Beautiful packed weapon. This is going very, very well right now. I'm very happy. Kill this last guy. And we are on to round ten with a Pack-a-Punch weapon. Two perks. Two very good guns. I'm liking this. I'm liking this so far. This is the run. Unless the game crashes again. We are on to round 10. We have another purchase. So we just have to make it through this round. We'll buy the door. And then we can get a PhD by the start of round 11. So we have one round where we're in a little bit of trouble. You know, using explosive weapons without PhD. But we will be fine. Unless I do that. God damn. We'll just sit over here. This is the perfect spot to be. You just sit on the uh, the good old quick revive island. A little special little island. Just come over here. Ooh, death machine. Give me that. That'll make this round easy. Beautiful. And let's go back to Quick Revive Island. Get that damage on Georgie boy. This is so much damage on George. I'm very, very happy about this. Very good. I think we're almost at the end of this round. Just knife these last couple zombies. Nice. We'll use our round 
can purchase on this store right here since we still have not used it. Knife this guy, knife this guy, and there we go. Round 10 is now over. Let's go get PhD, and we are golden right now. We are beyond golden, honestly. If I'm being completely honest, I think the only thing that could go wrong right now is the game crashing. Oh, we're looking very, very good right now. If I die with PhD and Mustang and Sally's on round 11, I'm I'm gonna I'm cry. It's not gonna happen, though. But, yeah. Uh, this is amazing right now. We're doing absolutely amazing. I, I mean, at this point, we can start, you know, just getting more damage on George. We have to get our last perk still. What should it be? I kind of just want to get a uh, good old speed coal. You can't go wrong with faster reloading. And then we can start hitting the box. Try to get the scavenger or... or um, a ray gun? Ray gun it could be good too. Either of those guns. I want the scavenger. Scavenger is beautiful on this map. And speed cola will be nice with the python also since this gun has the, the slowish slowish reload. This is what I like to do when you have explosive weapons. Just get some damage on George and kill the zombies, you know. Getting uh, double effective with your ammo and damage and whatnot. So almost at the end of this round, kill this guy. And there we go. Round 11 is now over. And what is the next course of action? So, yeah, I kind of want to get Speed Cola. That's a couple doors away, though. We got to get into the lighthouse. Oh, it's just two doors away. Okay, you know what? Yeah, we'll do that. Let's head into the lighthouse, and we'll start making our way towards Speed Cola. Run this way by this door. That's our purchase for round 12. And we'll just sit in the bottom of the lighthouse. I like sitting down here. It's only two barriers and a staircase, and there's plenty of space to train up the zombie. So, this will be a good place to stay. Gotta remember, I use my purchase this round. We're stuck down here for a couple rounds. Ooh, nuke! Nope. Just give me that. Not worried about them points. Just worried about killing them zombies. This guy is... Okay, I thought that guy was gonna start hitting me. I thought he spawned in late. Oh, we got another drop somewhere. Ooh, a death machine. Death machine. Give me this. Let's go find George. There he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat this. Eat them bullets. He's looking... He's looking a little bit injured right now. This death machine's almost over, though. We didn't get... We didn't get to use it very much. Oh, oh! I, George was way lower than I thought he was. Okay, we just killed George. Um, we're gonna grab the free perk just because we can. Oh, we got Speed Cola. Perfect. All right. Well, we don't. We can save a purchase or uh, two purchases. You know, actually buying Speed Cola and buying the door to Speed Cola. So, all right. You know what? I'll take it. That's cool. That's fine. We'll take that. And uh, I have not done the Easter egg on Plutonium Bo1. I have done it on normal Bo1, but. Not plutonium, so we're not getting the wonder waff. Just good old death machine. Seeing as we just got our fourth perk, and uh, yeah, we don't really have anything else we can do besides, you know, get pack a punch. We can pack a punch the the python into the cobra, but I don't really want to do that. I kind of want to just hit the box. See if we can get like the scavenger or something. Python's good, but there are better guns. So let's see what we can get. Oh, ray gun! First try. Let's go. And we'll just sit on the ship in this spot right here. For some reason, this area right here has the fastest spawns. It, it, the, the spawns are right here are so fast. You'll see in a second when all the zombies behind me catch up or we kill them and they start spawning in again. But you'll see. The zombies here are just spawning so fast. But yeah, with double explosive weapons, we're going to be flying through these rounds. So this is very good. And uh, it will speed up this challenge quite nicely. So let's just sit up here. Keep killing zombies. We'll wait for Pack a Punch to spawn in. Pack a Punch the Ray Gun. And then we're basically completely set up. There's Pack a Punch. Let's end the round if we can. Oh, beautiful. Perfect, perfect timing. Let's go back down to spawn. And we will immediately use our round 14 purchase on... Oh, George is back. All right, nice. We can kill him again. Get another free perk. But first, round 14 purchase is Pack-A-Punch. Get our Porter's X2 Ray Gun. Beautiful. Screw you, George. Yeah, eat them bullets. All right, let's head back up to the spot. And we'll actually get to showcase how fast the zombie spawns are up here. Okay, just chill right here. And let the zombies come to us. Okay, let's go a little bit slow. It should start ramping up, though, real soon. Oh, Ray or Max Ammo, Max Ammo. Okay, I kind of want to use some of this on George if we can. Use uh, Mustang and Sally's on George a little bit. All right, beautiful. Shoot this one more time. Okay, beautiful. We got our Max Ammo. We got some extra damage on George, which I do like. Let's reload. Grab the Max Ammo. And then we'll bounce out of here. That way I don't have to deal with George. Bye-bye. All right, let's get down here. George is probably gonna... Oh, he's ziplining over to us. Here comes Georgie. Hit him in the air? No. It's not possible. Slowly but surely, getting the damage on George. And is this the last guy? All right, it is. Let's head back up to the uh, the fast spot. And we got some extra damage on George. Things are looking good. 
Things are looking very good. And we have another purchase for round 15. Let's just use that immediately. I mean, we have the box over here, so why not? Watch us get the scavenger, and we're going to have to trade out one of our ray guns or Mustang and Sally's. Oh, okay. HK, no thank you. Okay, let's just sit right here and let the zombies spawn in. We still haven't really gotten to see the zombies spawn in really fast in the spot yet. They, they pick up really fast if we just give it a second. Yeah, yeah, now it's going. This is what I was talking about. The fast zombie spawns. Basically just constantly killing a zombie if you're over here. Reload. Yeah, this is what we wanted. Always a zombie to shoot. Keep on getting these guys. Good stuff. Yeah, look at that. They come in like chunks of five. It's insane. And with explosive weapons, you're just... You're sh absolutely shredding them. Alright, there we go. Round 15 over in like 30 seconds. That's insane. That spot is just amazing. So, I mean, we got nothing else to do. Let's just do what we did before. Scavenger. Oh, same gun. Alright, nope. And uh, George might be an issue, so let's just bounce out of here. Where's he at? Can I shoot him? I kind of want to shoot George. That way he'll come to this side of the map. And then we can just go back up there and he won't he'll leave us alone. But I can't seem to find him. There he is. I see him. Can I hit him? Oh, I hit him. Let's go. All right, beautiful. Where's George? There he is. There he is. He's looking a, He's looking a little bit damaged. Maybe we can kill him right now. Oh, Death Machine. We are 100% going to kill him now. Get this. All right, take down George now. Yeah, eat them bullets. He's going down real soon. Oh, he's angry now. All right, it ran out. All right, he's still not dead. He's looking real damaged, though. He should be gone real, real soon. And nice. How much you want to bet he'll die in 12 Mustang and Sally shots? Let's, let's do it right now. He's going to die right here. All right, 12 more. All right, he has way more health than I thought. He, I thought we were doing good damage to him. I was completely wrong. All right, let's just head back up to the... No, 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 no. He's almost dead. There's no way he's not almost dead. We'll just stay down here and we'll kill him one last time. And we're going to get a max ammo soon too. Oh, there's the max ammo. I could feel it approaching. Shoot him a little bit more. Grab our max. Get that full ammo going. And, uh, yeah, hopefully George is gonna die soon. We'll get our our next perk. Come on, he's dead right now. He has to be. I'm killing him right now. I don't even care. There he goes. He's dead. Give me that free perk. And let's see what we get. Big money. What do we want? We want mule kick. Give me mule kick. Ah, yeah, god damn it. Alright, Deadshot's probably the worst thing we could have gotten. Stamina up would have been way better. Mule kick would have been very, very nice. Double tap would have been good, too. But Deadshot, bruh. Bruh, just straight bruh. But we got a death machine from George. We'll use this to make this round a little bit easier. Stay with some ammo, I guess. Uh, yeah. Let's just... I guess we'll make our way back to the, the fast spot. And, uh... Hit the box this round. That way I don't have to remember if I use my purchase or not. Come this way. Let's use our round 18 purchase. And get the scavenger. Scavenger. Matryoshka. Scavenger. Matryoshka. Commando. That is a very good gun, but I must sadly say it is not as good as the guns I am holding right now. So, no thank you. Just do like one banana and then there's just like 10 zombies for you to kill. It's amazing. Banana. Oh wait, I'm not getting my reloads off. There we go. And they're all dead. And is this round? Almost? Yeah, I think this round's almost over. God damn, yo. The rounds up here are so fast. It's amazing. It's just amazing. I can't get over it. We're on to round 19. We get another purchase. It's like 30 seconds each round. This is good stuff. Round 19, we get another purchase. We'll spin the box. Oh, teddy bear. All right, teddy bear's kind of doodle pants. It's cool, though. We do not count the teddy bear as a purchase because we get refunded the points. So, I mean, we basically don't even... Like, it's not a purchase. We don't get anything, and we're getting our points back. So, we we still have a purchase this round. We'll probably... Ooh, max ammo. Let me use this. Kill these guys. All right, that's good enough. Or I guess we'll bob a nade. All right, grab the max ammo. I guess we'll just do the nades now. That seems good. Good stuff from the nades. Almost ended the round by accident. And looks like the box is on the lighthouse. So let's go bounce over this way. Bye-bye, zombie. And we will use our round 19 purchase on this door right here. Like I said, getting the teddy bear does not count as a purchase. So we get another. Huh. I, I was going to say, let's get to the lighthouse and get to the box, but I kind of want to do something else first. Which door? I, I want to open up the, the, the area down there so I can train more easily if need be. So I think I'll, I'll come this way. Yeah, you know what? We'll buy this door. This is our purchase for round 20. That way, if we need to train up the zombies, if we're low on ammo or something, we can 
just head down to a good training spot and just play it safe. But we still got ammo right now, so let's just head back to the fast spot. And now that we got a training spot open, we'll just uh, start trying to get to the box again. Trying to get the scavenger. The one gun that's probably better than the two guns we have. Probably save ammo just a little bit more. Just do like a little just train around these two guys. And then kill the train behind me. Oh, we got insta-kill now. I, don't, I, complete, I was not paying attention. I forgorded. I'm going to try to not... Okay, this is a little bit. I was going to say I'm not going to grab the nuke, but I was going to hit a lot right there. I'm just going to grab the nuke. All right, there we go. Round 20 is over. We get another purchase. George is approaching. Let's see if we can end the round before George gets to us. That's probably very unlikely, but we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. Let's see how fast. Let's see. Let's see how short we can make this round. Is George gonna make it to us by the time we end the round? There's George, killing these zomboys. He's still not on us quite yet. Yeah, George is gonna get to us. Dang it. We did kill a good amount of the zombies before he got to us, though, so I'm not I'm not entirely disappointed. But yeah, we need to get out of here now. Use the Mustang and Sally. Clear your path. Hurry up and bounce. Thank you. Bounce on out of here. Calm down the big man. There we go. And back up to the spot. And we still have our purchase this round, so we got to make sure to save a zombie. Or I guess we don't really have to save a zombie. We'll just bounce over quickly and by the door to the box. And this round is now over. Beautiful. Let's bounce. We still got to use our round 21 purchase. Hurry up. Run this away. This is our round 21 purchase. We were a half second too late. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Uh, we're not counting. It. We still have a purchase this round. We're up here. Let's just use our round 22 purchase real fast. Give me scavenger. Dragonov. Nope. That will help us kill George, but I don't really care about killing George right now. We already got all the perks we're going to want, so. Okay. We should probably be getting a max ammo soon. Probably this round sometime. I can feel it. It's coming. Ooh, death machine. I'm going to grab the death machine, actually. Is it still going to kill zombies? Oh, right, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna use it to kill zombies, actually. I don't really feel like having to deal with George right now. We don't need to kill George. We just need to get through these rounds now. There's the max ammo. I'm gonna shoot George if I can get him up here faster. Come on, spin around. Alright, death machine, please end. We need we need the better guns to come out now. Since we got a max ammo. There we go. Where's George at? Get some damage on George. Max ammo's still there. Here comes George. We got some good damage. Grab the max. Oh my god, we almost didn't get it. Okay, we gotta get out of here now. You clear a path. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Got some damage on George. He's he's not looking very injured right now. I don't I don't really think it's even worth it to, to get damage on him. But I I I really just want another perk. He, like, I don't know what it is about me, but like I don't need another perk right now, but it, I I'm just like another perk? Like, oh yeah, I I need I really want that. This another max ammo. Okay, never mind. We're gonna kill George right here. Get him. Get him dead. Yeah, George. You like them? You like them explosives? I'm get out of Mustang and Sally ammo. Start using the ray gun. Get some more damage on George. Re okay, I just got the max. I don't. I cannot risk losing after wasting all that ammo. All right. Good damage on George. And we got some good damage. God damn. What the hell just happened right here? You know what? Grab all of these. Let's get some more damage on George. That nuke is good. Especially with this death machine and the carpenter. You know what? That was actually a, a kind of perfect combo. Double points wasn't great, but... Death machine with nuke with carpenter means all zombies die. All the zombies take longer to get back in. And the death machine means we get extra damage on George. It's perfect. Perfect combo. Name a more iconic duo on Call of the Dead than death machine, nuke, carpenter. You can't. You can't. Exactly. Alright, good damage on George again. Uh, I don't know how low he is. I feel like he should be kind of low. I think we put like probably one and a half death machines in them and a couple hundred mustang and sally and ray gun shots he should be going down soon i i would assume uh let we still have a purchase this round we only got a couple zombies left okay this guy's spawning in okay i don't know what that was about no i don't want to call her just kill him let's go spin the box since we still have a purchase then we'll end the round and then spin it again because we can spin the box that's our 20 round 23 purchase Oh, there's a scavenger. Uh, uh, I didn't actually think I was going to get it. Which one do I trade out? I got to pause it. The ray gun has so much more ammo. That's, I, you know what? I think I'm going to trade out the Mustang and Sally's because the ray gun just has so much more ammo than them. I kind of just want to use the ray gun also. We don't have to spin the box anymore. Or, I mean, we, we will go spin the box. But uh, first thing we got to do is pack a punch this thing into the, the, this, the hyena. 
The, the uh, hybrid? What's this thing? I cannot remember what the scavenger pago punch is called. I'm very embarrassed. All right. Uh, we should be able to kill George with this, though. That's for sure. Let us go find him. We'll just pump a million scavenger bullets into him. And we'll pack a punch. There he is. There's George. Keep on shooting. He should die real soon. Is that it? Oh, down goes George. Beautiful. Only six more scavenger shots were needed. Wait for him to die. We'll grab both of these. Stamina up. Beautiful. We love it. I guess we could actually... I mean, we still have our purchases this round. Well, I guess we'll start making our way towards pack punch Look like it at Sam up. So we'll, we'll make our way that way, actually. I love how we have two perks right now that we haven't even opened up the map to them. We just... We've gotten them from George. It's perfect. It's good stuff. But we still have our purchase this round. We used our purchase for 23 to get the scavenger. We were going to spin it again, but we got the scavenger. So we will probably end up buying this door. Yeah, we're going to buy this door at the end of this round. And then use our purchase for round 25 to pack a punch this bad boy. And we'll use it right now. Why not? Bam! All dead. Should just, you know, we just let this thing rip since we're going to pack a punch it. Right, I think I heard pack a punch leave. We got to go find it again. Uh, actually, you know what? Pack a punch can literally only spawn. We have every uh, other pack a punch location open already. So I guess we might as well just. Oh, boy, where am I going? I, I might as well just open this door right here since. These are the only other Pack-a-Punch locations that we don't have access to, so. Round 24, our purchase is this door right here. There we go, round 24 now over. And we're back up here, only five more rounds to go. I don't think I said it yet, but the goal for today's video is round 30, so we're, we're approaching the end of this right now. Oh, there's a max ammo, give me this. Bam, you're all dead. Get another shot off, reload this. Really wish George was in here, so we could get a bunch of free damage on him, but it... I guess it's better than nothing. Good stuff. Grab this nuke. Hopefully that doesn't end the round. You know what? I'm actually... Oh, death machine. Can I end the round? Where's the last zombie? There's, there's so many things that are happening. Snipe these guys. Use, use the death machine as a sniper. As it was intended. Oh, hold up. There's zombies here. Yeah, snipe them from a distance. Good stuff. Alright, I think we're almost at the end of this round. We're gonna use our purchase for round 25 to spin the box. Because we have so many scavenger shots. I don't want to just waste them. I, I want to use them on George. So I don't want to just pack a punch. Even though it is actually in play right now. Let's just spin the box. See if we can get Matryoshkas. Literally not going to take anything else. Sorry, Python. You're not good enough. Knife these last couple guys. Knife you. There we go. Round is now over. Hopefully George spawns in. I'm pretty sure he should spawn in. But I guess we're going to find out. That's George spawning in. He spawned over here this time. That's new. It's different this game. And like I said, I want to use all my scavenger shots on him. So come down here. And we're just going to be doing this. Get a ton of damage on him. Try to get another free perk if we can. Nice. Do these last three. I'm dead. Oh my god. I kind of like jumped into that horde by accident. Shoot this last shot. Oh, we got a max ammo. Are you kidding me? That's that's like hilarious timing. All right. Well, we'll just do this again. Keep on shooting it. We might be able to actually kill George with just 15 or... Yeah, just if we do two full clips of the scavenger. I guess we're going to find out. We're almost there. He, he's going to... Oh, yeah. Is that it? Down he goes. Down she blows. George goes down. We will just grab this. I'm not even going to grab the death machine. It's kind of a death trap. I'm not even going to risk it. Where's Pagapunch at? Pagapunch doesn't even play. All right, we got to wait a second then. I actually will grab the death machine then. Just so... It, it should still kill zombies, right? It's not too shabby, not too shabby. And we we haven't used our purchase for 26 because we, we've been trying to get Pack-a-Punch, but we keep getting, like, max ammos and stuff. So, round 26 purchase will be this door right here. Last zombie, kill him. There we go. On to round 27. Hopefully, Pack-a-Punch will come in. We'll finally Pack-a-Punch the Scavenger. It's been, like, a couple rounds since we've had this gun not Pack-a-Punched it. I mean, it doesn't really matter. This it, The only difference between the unpacked version and the packed version right now is is it has more ammo i mean they're they're gonna one shot zombies for the entire of this challenge since we're stopping on round 30. okay i'm gonna save my last scavenger ammo i have i have a plan for it i got big plans for it let's just use the ray gun we haven't used in a minute and we have double tap now which i completely forgot about i love it gotta shoot the ray gun twice as fast it's a small victory but i'm very very happy about it you gonna love it and is that pack a punch i think that's pack a punch Run this way. This is what I was saying with the scavenger shot. You shoot it down. Put it in. 
All right, this plan this plan did not work. I, I I had only one bullet left, so it switched the gun. I didn't want that. It didn't even matter. I don't know what I, what I was going on about. All right, we got it. The hyena infra dead. That's what it is. What was I saying? I was I said hyena, right? I think I was half right. I'm pretty sure I said hyena. I knew it was that part, but infra dead. That's funny. It's a good name. It's a good name. I like it. All right, I don't know why I'm coming this way. We gotta go back to the fast spot. Ray gun pushes through the the, the deadly tunnel. This tunnel is insane. Look at this, man. It's insane. Can we can we push through it, please, and thank you? Alright, finally. Jesus. N non-stop. It's like a stream of zombies, that, that tunnel right there. We finally made it through, though. Let's use this gun. It's got 36 bullets. Jesus Christ. Twice as many as the, the scavenger. Just shoot it. Get that reload off. Oh, yeah. Now it's got the good sound. The, the unpacked version, it's it's all right, but the packed version, god diggity damn, is it is it yummy licious? One of the coolest wonder weapons. Uh, I don't know how to describe this thing. I mean, it's a sniper, but what it's shooting like, I don't even know the sounds it makes. Can't even understand it. It's beyond comprehension. This gun. Okay, we are on to round twenty-eight now. Uh, we have basically everything we're ever going to want. It kind of sucks that our the last perk that we're going to get, if we're even going to get it, is Mule Kick. So we can't really like use our purchases towards getting another gun. But uh, we don't really need it. I mean, we got this. Just where those zombies that were there gone. Like, why, why, am, I, why am I even complaining about another gun when I have a gun that can do this? What am I complaining about? You're dead. I can, I can just sit here. Like, I don't have to move around anymore. Just gotta time it properly. Just every after it goes off, just shoot another one. You're all dead. Shoot another one. Reload. Bang! Killing like 15 zombies with every bullet. It's, it's amazing. I mean, I could I could push it like train up zombies and get even more, but why do I'm gonna die? Oh my god! <laughs> all right, all right. Let me not get too comfortable. You know that that that's when people start getting in trouble is when they start getting too comfortable. But anyways, we're on round 29. The last round of the challenge, George is not even going to spawn in. We killed him so many times, he's like, I'm not, I don't even want to mess with you. He's, he's, he's seeing what we're doing to the zombies. He's, he does not want to mess with us. So, no George this round. You know what, we still have a purchase this round we never use. Let's come down here. We'll buy this door right here. Probably the most forgotten door on this map. Oh, I took it down. Okay, hold up, hold up. That's what I get for being dumb. You know what, you know what, that was on purpose. We're making this more interesting. That was that was the reason I just downed right here. Come down this way. We'll be fine, actually. I mean, the round's almost over, I'm pretty sure. Shoot this. Actually, the round is not almost over. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, well, we wasted our purchase this round. We're not end we're not we're not gonna cheat. We're gonna do this the right way. Can we survive? We just gotta spam the uh the hyena just a little bit more. I think I think we're gonna be fine. Just keep shooting at this this rock right here. Good stuff. My very last scavenger bolt on the very last zombie. Eat it. Bam! That wasn't the last guy. God damn it. That ruined the moment. Oh, George is back. I didn't even realize. Why did that not have to be the last zombie? That was that was so poetic. With the, my last bullet, I kill a last zombie. But you had to ruin it. God damn it. All right, where is it? It's a crawler, isn't it? It's going to be a crawler. Already. Of course. This little mofo. Decided to ruin everything. Eat it. You're dead. You died. We win. But there we go, challenge complete. I'm so glad it's finally done. Like I said, I, I've done this challenge three times, basically three times successfully. And dumb things out of my control made it, made all those videos just gone. I'm stumbling over my words right now. And this, this challenge is actually kind of difficult. So there's that too. So yeah, this was, this was just, I'm glad this is over. And we're, looks like we're finally going to run out of ammo. Bam, completely ran out of ammo. On the last round of the challenge. But that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching. And have a great rest of your day. And I, actually one last thing. I, I want to get me my the sickle. Because sickle is cool. I'm going to die using the sickle. I will die with the sickle. Alright. There we go. That's the official ending. See you guys later.